Hey guys, welcome back to the C++ game development series where we are creating a simple 2D snake game using C++ and SFML. So in the last video, we created the state and state manager class to help us create and manage different states of our game. In this video, we'll create an asset manager which will hold all the textures and fonts required for our game. So let's begin this by creating a new class using the easy C++ extension. I'll name this class as asset man and hit enter. And now we have an header and a CPP file for asset man. Let's put this new class in engine namespace like so. And now let's start by adding the private members. So to hold the textures and fonts, I'll be using the std map. For this we'll first need to add the map header. So the map will be of an integer and an unique pointer to texture. I'll add the memory header for unique pointer. Also I'll need the header for texture and font too. I'll name the map of textures as m underscore textures and similar to this I'll create a map of fonts too which will be named m underscore fonts. Now to load new textures and fonts we need two methods add texture and add font. And to get a loaded texture and font from the map we also need get texture and get font. Both of these will return texture or font by const reference and let's also mark both of them as const as they will not be modifying the object. Going back to the add methods, these methods will need an id and the part to the texture or font as input. As file path will be a string, I'll need to add the string header here. In addition to the id and file path, add texture will also take an optional boolean parameter named is repeated. This flag will allow the texture to be repeated as many times as needed to fill the entire rectangle of the sprite for which it is used as a texture. Default value for this flag will be false. I'll quickly add id and file path parameter for add font 2. And that's it. This is the complete interface for our state manager. Now let's go to the cpp file to implement these methods. First, I'll add the engine namespace and class name for all these methods. The constructor and destructor will be empty, so let's go to the add texture method. Here, I'll create a new texture using std make unique. Next, I'll use the load from file method from sf texture to load the given file. Load from file returns a boolean to indicate if the loading was successful. So if the texture gets loaded successfully, we'll store the texture in m underscore textures map at the given id using std move. Also we have to tell the texture if it should repeat itself using the set repeated method. Is repeated does not seem to be a good name, so let's rename it to won't repeated. Let's also change this in the header file. Let's repeat the same things for add font too. I'll create a new font and if the font gets loaded successfully, I'll move it to m underscore fonts map at given id. For the get texture and get font, we just have to return the required asset from internal maps. And for this, we need the id of the asset. So let's add it as the parameter to get texture and get font in the header and cpp file. And now we can simply return the texture at given id. But as this is an id to unique pointer map, we have to get the raw pointer using .get method. And we will also have to dereference this pointer because we want to return a reference to the underlying texture object. Let's copy the same things for get font. I'll just change the m underscore textures to m underscore fonts. And we are done. This is all the code that we need to manage the assets. This concludes all the engine side code for our snake game. From the next video, we'll start coding up the actual game code. So hope to see you in the next video.